possible parole. The man known as one of the D.C. snipers could soon be back on the streets as a free man. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Rick Ritter. Lee Boyd Malvo has dropped a Supreme Court bid for a resentencing after a change to a Virginia law. Malvo was 17 when he and another man killed at least 10 people in Washington, D.C. region back in 2002. So now this change makes him eligible to be released from prison. And WJZ is live. Annie Rose Ramos breaks down these new developments. Annie Rose. Rick and Nicole, juveniles who are serving life sentences in Virginia are now eligible for parole. That means that Malvo, who is currently serving four life sentences in Virginia, could be eligible for parole in that state in just a few years. A new Virginia law making D.C. sniper Lee Boyd Malvo eligible for parole as early as 2022. She shot in head. Malvo and John Allen Muhammad shot 13 people, killing six in Maryland and four in Virginia during a sniper rampage in October 2002 that terrorized the region. Malvo was 17 years old at the time. His attorneys long argued Mohammed manipulated him. Mohammed got the death penalty and was executed in 2009. Malvo received 10 life sentences for murder without the possibility of parole. Four from Virginia, six more from Maryland. If Virginia did parole Malvo, he would move to a Maryland prison. Former Maryland Attorney General Doug Gansler orchestrated Malvo's plea deal in 2006 while he was state's attorney for Montgomery County. Malvo actually came to my office, met with me, talked about all the different crimes that they've committed, all the murders they committed. Montgomery County is not commenting on Malvo's case at this time, but Gansler says just because Malvo is eligible for parole doesn't mean he would get paroled. The likelihood that he would be paroled is extremely minimal given the crimes that he committed in the D.C. area, Maryland, and throughout the United States. And I spoke to Malvo's attorneys here in Maryland today who say that they are challenging those six life sentences without parole here in Maryland, but Gansler says he is quite confident those sentences will never be overturned. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJC.